whilst Marius was battling the Ambrones and Totones in Gaul. Marius's co-consul, Catullus, had made camp at the foot of the Alpines. However, suddenly, out of nowhere, the Cimbri arrive in Italy and start looting and pillaging. Marching out to face the invading Germans, Catullus made for the small town of Tridentum, which was a small trading town in one of the many villages in the Alpine region of Italy. Catullus had originally intended to use the narrow passes to bottle the larger Cimbrian army. However, after arriving there, Catullus decided to make a slow retreat, deciding that maybe facing this army in this way was probably not the wisest of ideas. However, the Cimbri were not yet aware of the Roman presence, and so the Romans had retreated a far distance from where they had previously intended to fight the Germans. Upon discovering the Romans in the area, the Cimbri immediately decided to attack, first coming across the camp of the Samnite Legion, who were acting as a rear guard for the main force, defending a key bridge. The Germans attacked swiftly and suddenly, so suddenly in fact that the commander of the Samnite Legion, a young military tribune, froze in horror. Realising that the entire legion was about to be wiped out, the Primus Pilus of the legion relieved the tribune of duty and took full command of the legion himself. Spurring his men on, the Centurion and the Samnite Legion made the Germans pay for every single inch of the ground they gave, fighting a fierce rearguard action. Eventually the Samnites were pushed back to the bridge they were guarding, however, in their ferocity they held the Germans at bay long enough for a majority of their troops and supplies to cross the river, before eventually destroying the bridge itself. Catus had narrowingly avoided a disastrous defeat. However, the consul quickly saw an opportunity that the Romans could exploit. The giving up of the land across from the river meant that the Cimbri now had free range over the rich and prosperous Po Valley. Catullus argued that this was a perfect opportunity for both him and Marius to combine their armies as the Cimbri would be distracted by the plundering of the region. This was begrudgingly accepted by the Senate and word was sent to Marius to rendezvous with Catullus in Italy. As for the tribune that had frozen in horror and dishonoured himself, he was disowned by his family and discarded from Roman society, later committing suicide out of the shame he had brought upon himself. The Romans' worst fear of a barbarian horde invading the Italian landscape was now a reality, and now the race was on for the two Roman consuls to combine their forces and finally defeat the German threat once and for all. Thanks for watching and listening to our video. If you like the channel, consider subscribing to Ancient History Guy. Or, if you really like the channel, head on over to our Patreon feed. There, for as little as $1 a month, you can gain access to exclusive documentaries, behind the scene footage, and videos before they're live on YouTube. All sources are listed and linked in the description below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I've been the Ancient History Guy, and as always, I'll be seeing you later.